absolutely absolutely beautiful outside today so I was trying to think ahead what we were gonna do for dinner tonight and my daughter had said that she had pulled out an English roast so I was like all right you know let's throw that in the crock pot and then I looked outside and I was like oh how about if we cook in the solar cooker so I checked the weather real quick and the weather said it's gonna be absolutely beautiful today clear skies so what I did is got the solar cooker set up getting it warmed up what I'm gonna do is grab the rocket stove get that fired up get some nice coals in there get my cast iron on there get it nice and hot I'm gonna sear that meat and then we're gonna throw it into the solar oven and let that thing cook nice and slow all day today so come on along and see how we get the rocket stove going get the meat seared and we get that thrown in there we're going to use this as our wood, our fuel source, in the rocket stove. It should be windy enough out here, but I am going to give it a little bit of help. Check out this bad boy, how beat up this is. Best little thing ever. Turn it on. Get the cast iron on. We're gonna give that a second to get uh, nice and warm. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. All right, David's going to take it over to the solar oven. Say hi, dear. Hi, hey, dear. Almost 300? Mm -hmm. It's cold. It's cold. Yesterday we were running around in just sweatshirts and we were completely comfortable. I was cooking on the sun oven. And we just, we ran out of time and the sun was starting to set, beautiful sunset. And I go and I check on the, um, the roast, I'm like son of a gun, this thing's not done yet. I was going to throw the vegetables in, let it finish up. And it was obvious. It just was not ready. So I let it get, you know, cool down a little bit, threw it in the fridge. And I thought, oh, today I will, I will finish it up. And then I get up, I look outside. I'm like, what the heck? We have snow, snow flurries. It's freaking cold out here, but I'm not going to let Michigan cold weather, warm weather, hot weather, whatever, stop me from doing what I want to do. You guys look at this knife. Isn't this beautiful? 
I got this for my 50th birthday from my father. He knows that I love to cook. And this thing is mean. Now when I cut up celery, really any kind of a vegetable, I like to do the kind of the sideways, cut it kind of on the bias. Just look at how that, isn't that kind of pretty? fresh right out of the garden went and picked some sage and all I'm going to do with this and I'm going to do these whole like this and then I can just pull them out when I'm done mm. this is really good too you can uh, pan fry this just a little bit to bring out some of the oils but I have these little potatoes. We've got these on sale. And I thought, you know, these are really cute. So what I do with these is I take my knife and I pop a bunch of holes in here. And then I bring it over to the sink, fill it up with water, give it a good shakey shake. And then this acts as a strainer for me. And if I keep reaching across here and I keep dumping my stuff, let me show you what I'm doing here. In my sink, I have one of these com metal composting buckets and we'll take whatever we throw into here at the end of the night or in the morning, we'll take and we'll give these to the chickens. And what I love about this thing is it has a, um, this is the bottom side of it, but there's like a sponge here or a, a filter of some kind that helps keep the, the smell down. So we just put this on here and it goes back on the sink. All right, so we got everything going on in the pot here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get our coals, coals going, and then we're gonna throw this on and let this cook. All right, so this is the area that we are gonna be cooking today at. I've got a little Weber grill that we're gonna put a, a fire in. Typically, I would cook over this thing, but it's just too big for today and I don't want to use up all that wood. So I'm just going to use this. We got these little pieces that we've cut up. I'm going to throw a couple little pieces on there just to see if we can get it going. No, still falling. Let's see if we can see how this coals are doing. Looks like we're getting some good coals on here. Here's a little area that I keep kind of stuff, you know, for burning, making a fire. We do, you know, we recycle the corn cobs, little chunks of wood, smaller chunks, fire starter. I keep my 
uh, fire starters, scissors, you know, taller things in here. And then under here, smaller pieces of wood. And then further on out, I keep more twigs in there. Just kind of, you know, organizes it, makes it kind of look cute in this area. All right, let's work on these coals a little bit longer and we'll be throwing that pot right on there and letting it rock and roll. All right, looks like we've got some good coals on here, so we're gonna see if we can't uh, get that set up on there. And what this uh, smaller rack does, it allows me to still come through and, you know, as these coals get down, I can still come in here and, and feed these little, little pieces in there and still keep those coals, you know, the coals going real good. Check it out. Yum. Until next time, keep on baking, cooking, preserving, whatever you do. Just keep on keeping on.